All right, so uh, this should be uh, the last day of the week where we're going to put in effort down here. Uh, this is not going to get done this week. This is uh, this is a long-term project. Like, I will point out that a majority of my projects are long-term projects. So, any sort of progress we make is good progress. Like, even if it's relatively minor in the scheme of things. But uh, we do need this granite. So that's a good thing. But uh, we are we are very limited on like what I can do right now. Uh, mainly because of the fact that I backed myself into a corner by making it really hard for me to expand. Because, uh, in hindsight, I made a mistake in building my base this way. So I built my base around the idea of being able to render more than 12, 12 chunks. The problem is, is as mu every time, like, Minecraft has, like, a major update, it throws the optimization of the game significantly out of whack. And 1.19... Uh, just happens to be one of those updates where Minecraft, um, for whatever reason, isn't very well optimized uh, during this update. Alright, we'll leave this be. Uh, we will... Uh... We'll, we'll work out what's on the under what's going to be on the underside of these stairs later. Uh, probably some support things. Because uh, I, I am going to have to, like, change up a lot of this. Uh, we'll leave in, like, the wood staircase, because uh, the wood staircase has been here since I built the spider farm, and the spider farm is going to be untouched forever. Uh, I spent way too much time building that. It's not worth uh, changing anything there. But uh, I need to go and empty out a good chunk of my inventory here. Uh, mainly because of the fact that I'm running out of inventory space. And this is probably the last thing I'm going to record tonight. Uh, mainly because um, I started recording so late in the evening... I, I meant to get, like, all of my recording done for, like, next week done and out of the way. And now I'm like, no, that was entirely unrealistic. Think better, Indiana. Think better. Which, to be fair, uh, I do have unrealistic expectations of myself sometimes. And... Like, this was just one of those times. Uh, let's, uh... Offload all of that. Yeah, any excess iron can be put there. Uh, flint. Uh, slowly building up a stockpile of flint. Uh... That's something I'm going to have to work on. Uh, slime balls. Up to 44. Uh, I would like to get... Um, 64 sticky pistons. Uh, that would be ideal for a number of things. Um, ideally, I'd like to be able to produce... Uh... Well, actually, I could go ahead and build the cocoa bean farm... With, uh, what we got, but, uh, for the time being, let's not bother with that. So let's, uh, go ahead and, uh, grab myself a bit more lanterns here. Yeah, there we go. 
right, so let's head back down. But, uh, one of the things we're going to end up doing down here is uh, a lot of these areas, uh, we're going to leave the, uh, like, waterfalls over there alone. But what we're going to end up doing is we're going to clear out a lot of these areas and just make it so that only slimes can spawn. Um, we need slime balls. Mainly because slimes, uh, and slime ball, uh, sticky pistons and, uh, slime blocks are a core component of, like, a lot of modern day farms. So, there is that. So what we're going to end up doing here is we are going to just clear out a lot of this here. So as far as my future plans for the base here goes, uh, there are a couple of things I would like to get done. Uh, one, uh, I do need to put more work into the grand staircase. Uh, that's going to require clearing some stuff out. But it's it's entirely doable. In a convenient manner. Now we just have to clear all this out. Like I'm making I'm making my pickaxe put in work this week. I haven't ha I haven't made my pickaxe do this much work in a while. So let's go ahead and uh, do this here. And, you know, I might find, like, a ton of, like, useless resources while doing this, and that's okay. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and, uh, slap these on there. Like, I know this is redundant, but I'm doing it for the heck of it. Lanterns, lanterns everywhere. And I know there's like a zombie somewhere. So I figure uh, while we're doing this... Uh, we'll also end up, like, finding all the hidden little caves and whatnot that are just scattered about. Which isn't, like, a super big deal. But it is something to keep in mind. And I, and I, I, if you listen close enough, you can, like, hear the, uh, pistons going off on my, uh, bone meal farm there. Which is pretty fun in itself. Uh, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, like get as much of this cleared out as possible. 
Oh, nope. Fell to my death. Oh. I, I, I hear the zombie. I'm just, like, not sure where it is. Yeah, hold on a moment. Oh. Oh, nope. Fell again. So, zombie came from up here somewhere. I'm presuming up there. Because I know for a fact that I'm going to have to, like, clear out a good chunk of this area here. So let's hop on back down here. And I, I think we can eliminate this uh, cobblestone monstrosity we don't need anymore. And I am going to have to, like, work on clearing most of this. That's going to be a joy. Oh, well. It is what it is. I'm getting a ton of cobblestone from this, so that's a good thing. Uh, but I am going to need a lot of smooth stone. So a, a good chunk of this is going to end up just being recycled into this building project here. Which is not the worst thing in the world. Just chewing through the, through this all is very time consuming.
So uh, the question is, is do lanterns break gravel? And yes, lanterns apparently do break gravel. Uh, I did not know that. Learn something new every day. Alright, so we we put a good chunk of progress into this here. And unfortunately I am now out of inventory space. So let's uh, let's go up and take a look at a bit of my work here. Okay. So probably what what I'm what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get some uh get something to like sort of Oh, actually, hold on a moment. Yeah, th th this accidentally works out. Um, we can just go ahead and, like, put this along. Wait, no. Yeah, that works out. <laughs> and I am just one glass block short. Just one. And this is going to bug me for a while, where I just need, like, one glass block. Just one. So I'm going to run around here and, like, look for one singular... There's the one singular glass block I need. Okay, um... And... Since we are currently uh, stockpiling smooth stone, I will just go ahead and offload this here. And we will grab uh, this much. Uh, coal can go in the coal chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then... There we go again. Awesome. Okay. Go ahead and sleep.
And the one singular glass block. There we go. But uh, it doesn't look like I can do much else here right now. Uh, gonna need to do a lot more uh, clearing of the area. But while we're down here, let's let's start removing some of these torches. Uh, these torches have aged terribly. And uh, there's a slime block, uh, a slime that spawned. So that that's something I'm gonna have to just accept is gonna be a thing is slimes just randomly spawning in. And that's fine because we, we need the slime, slime blocks at this point. So let's, uh, let's go kill it. Like, slimes are infinitely better than, uh... And I'm very aware of the fact that, uh, mobs are dropping in from up there. Uh, I will have to go around with scaffolding and, like, shove jack-o'-lanterns into, like, rock formations and lanterns onto the ceiling in places. Uh, that lighting apparatus apparatus that I want to get set up. Uh, we're going to start from over there and just work our way diagonally over here. Uh, that That is something I'm going to end up doing. But uh, I think this is all we're going to do for tonight. Uh... We put in a lot of work on this this week. I'm happy with what I've done so far. Uh, I'm gonna end up doing a lot more. Like this is currently like Y of uh, Y of twenty one. Like that's that's pretty deep. Because uh, this this cave being as master, massive as it is uh, just opened me up to something ridiculous like this. But uh, also, uh, gonna have to keep in mind that uh, this is a thing. Um, yeah. Oh well. Since I'm building this as I go, some of the design choices will be questionable. But that, that's the joy of building as you go. So that's all for tonight. Um, we're go we're gonna take a break from this and do something different next time. Uh, like I don't want to spend too too much time doing things. I think like I will set aside time every once in a while to work on that area down there. But uh, I think what we'll end up doing next is going back to working on the grand staircase over there. Uh, that is something that needs to get done because I need to get a mob farm going. But uh, that's all for tonight.